Let me ask you something now. Chat to me, bro. This is something that I've always wanted to know. Yeah. What's it? What's it? What's it like when you're in a coma? What do you? What do you feel? What? What do you hear? Because some people they hear in a coma, yeah. some people don't feel nothing. What's What's that like? You see, you see, in coma, there's levels to it, isn't it? Okay. There's different levels in coma, but the level I was in was the highest level. It's called induced coma. Induced coma, it's like. It's like you're in your grave, but you're in hospital, isn't it? Like you can't, you can't hear, you can't dream. You don't even know you're there. Welcome back to the After Hours podcast. I'm glad you lot have joined. Um, it's been a minute, obviously. I had a rough summer. I had a messy summer. But we're back. Alhamdulillah, back home where I need to be. Today I got a, uh, I've got a very special guest with me. I say that about most of my guests, but this one's different, man. The vibe's different, man. The air is different today. Come on. I got a real go-getter. Hi. My brother, General. My bro. Mr. Go-getter himself. My family. How are you, Ak? Alhamdulillah, I'm all right, man. It's good Thanks to have you in here, man. It's good to have you here. Thanks for having me here, man. I've been chasing you for a minute, man. You don't want to know me. I know, man. You've been ducking me down. You've been ducking me? What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> no, we've been ducking each other down. That my guy. Um, how you been, man? How's life? Alhamdulillah, I'm good, man. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it, bro. Well, Alhamdulillah, we say Alhamdulillah times two today. Alhamdulillah times two. Obviously, man. what's happened to you is definitely praiseworthy. We have to thank Allah. True, say, man. Alhamdulillah, man. How's uh, how's everything? How's your how's your heart? how's your health, bro? Health is wealth. Let me tell you that, man. I Act. had to learn that the hard way, man. Act. But yeah, man. Um, I'm doing good, man. Progressing. You want? You, can we, can, do you mind if we speak on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind, man. Do you not know? I don't mind, man. Well, it, was a hard, it was a hard thing to hear, first of all. I heard it from your brother. Yeah. Rang me, told me um, he was in a coma, yeah. induced coma. Yeah. So what happened then, man? SubhanAllah, that you're here today. Alhamdulillah, my bro, man. Talk to me, man. What happened, bro? Bro, let me start off with induced coma, bro. But obviously, yeah, let me start off. Let me, let me come back to that. Mm. Let me start off with how it happened. Bro... I must have come out of my house. I was oh, you remember, you remember everything clearly? Yeah, to the build-up, yeah. Okay, okay, what happened? You know what it is? The memory comes back day, day by, by day. day. Yeah. Oh, mashallah. So, boom. I must have came out of my house as I was, uh, as I was cutting through my the nearest local park. Mm. Um, yeah, man, I was just with a few Aki's. Um, one of the acts bought a new quad bike. I was just taste, uh, testing that for, uh, for a bit, taking that for a spin. I brought it back to him. I was like, lads... Yeah, man, I got stuff to do, man. Oh, it wasn't the quad. I see. I see. No, 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 it wasn't the quad. Bike. That was the last thing on my snap. Okay, I thought. And was everyone it. thought. Everyone thought it was the yeah, quad yeah, bike. Yeah, I thought it was the quad. It wasn't the quad bike, man. Okay. So um, I gave it back to the owner. I was like, lads, I've got, I've got errands to run, man. Mm. I went to my nearest um shopping centre. I was just using the ATM. So um, there's two ATMs in that shopping centre, Newtown Shopping Centre. Yeah, yeah, I know it. So um, there's one by the Dixie, one by the post office. So imagine now, yeah, um, the one by the post office, the queue was so long. So I was like, you know what? I ain't got time for this, man. Let me go to the other one. There was no one there. But these times now, no wonder everyone's queuing over there. Like, mm. There was no cash in the dispenser. In the Dixie one? Yeah. Okay. There was no cash in the dispenser. So you had to go back in the queue? So I was like, you know what? Nah, I ain't going back in the queue. Let me come back later on. Yeah, first. So as I was coming back at the, the shopping centre, there's like a barrier. So that everyone in the area, everyone in the ends, this is the way they they come. Most most of the people, whether it's aunties, uncles, yeah, yeah. whoever, whoever under it is. Uh, under the under the red bar- under the, under the yeah, red yeah, barrier. Yeah, 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 I know that barrier. I've been doing it since knee height, bro. Okay, okay, okay. So like, I've been living in Aston for twenty two years. Okay, but yeah, um, Newtown Shop Centre is my nearest ATM. So um, I come out of the barrier with my. Sc- I was I was on a uh, voice queue, aren't it? Red ones. The red ones, yeah, the ones that are everywhere now. Addictive. The funny thing is, yeah, mm. like nowadays it's twenty four hours. But when when I, when it first came out, it was not twenty four hours, and the the voice scooters. It's twenty four hours. Yeah, now it's twenty four hours, man. But basically, yeah, I came out the red barrier. I s- there was a dirt bike on the pedestrian, but it's like a, it cuts into the bike lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that dirt bike was going at speed. I just diverted from it, so I escaped okay. it. It would have crashed into me straight away. So you dodged it? So yeah, I dodged it, yeah. So as soon as I dodged it, I came into the road. As I've ended onto the road, like, not mm. too far in, like, it was just the beginning of the road. So I came into the beginning of the road. As I turn right now, yeah, I just see, like, 
so many quad like there was like you know them bite life people them, them hell's them ha- hell's angels yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. so there's that there's bear them um so on the news article it was saying there was a 40 of them but yeah so they were coming at speed I was like, you know what? Let me try to come back onto the pedestrian because if I cross the traffic lights, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. going to make it. Of course, so, yeah, of course. Yeah, so as I've done a U-turn now, I was like two steps away from being safe. As soon as I took my first step, they're getting closer and closer. But oh. I never, Before you know it. I never made my second step. So they collided. They collided, yeah. They caused the collision, man. I flew into the air like I was on a roller coaster. Like you see, you see the lampposts on the road, man. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Light, the lightning, uh, the lightning lampposts. So, um, Do you remember that though? I don't remember that. Okay, but, okay. Um, but yeah, so basically, there was a sergeant that came to my to my door and it with the footage, oh. saying, "Do you want to watch the footage?" I was like, "Nah, man, I don't want to watch the I footage." I don't watch that back. My whole family didn't want to watch the footage, but the strongest person from my family is my dad. But he watched the footage and he was like, "You know what?" You're a lucky guy, man. Alhamdulillah. He didn't fully watch it. Halfway through it, when he, he seen me he going to the air, he, he gave the sergeant back the phone. He's like, nah, I don't want to continue. Yeah, yeah. So basically, two and a half weeks later, I was in hospital. Wait, you was in, wait, you was in a coma for two, two and a half weeks? Yeah, yeah, I was in induced coma for two and a half weeks. But you, your brother said something else to me. He said, what did he, um, say? he said, well, they left you there. They picked you up and left you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Furthermore, because mm. it's a shopping centre now, yeah? So everyone in the shop centers come out. Of course. They're saying, oh, what's going on here? They heard some loud banging noises and stuff like that. So boom. So yeah, they've come out. People are saying, oh, there's police on the way. There's ambulances on the way. There's sirens people can hear. So yeah, so they've just panicked, didn't it? They were like, let's let's go. So they before they went. Oh, the people that hit you. Said yeah, that. yeah, the people that hit okay, me. Okay, 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 okay. So two of them grabbed me by by, by my arms, and two of them grabbed me by le- by my legs, isn't it? So as soon as that happened, they put me on a pedestrian and left you. And left me. They never found an ambulance for you. No, no, no. Bad geezers, bro. That's life for you, isn't it? Yeah, man. Selfish people, man. Yeah, man. Alhamdulillah, bro. Alhamdulillah, though, man. So yeah. let me ask you something now. Chat to me, bro. This is something that I've always wanted to know. Yeah. What's it? What's it? What's it like when you're in a coma? What do you? What do you feel? What? What do you hear? Because some people they hear in a coma, yeah. some people don't feel nothing. What's What's that like? You see, you see, in coma there's levels to it, isn't it? Okay. There's different levels in coma, but the level I was in was the highest level. It's called induced coma. Induced coma, it's like it's like you're in your grave, but you're in hospital, isn't it? Like you can't you can't hear, you can't dream, you don't even know you're there. But they induced you because there's too much damage on your body. So like yeah, basically, um, you see all my bl- all, all my blood in my in my body rushed up to my brain. So like my skull, my skull, my brain was getting so big, swelling of it, yeah. and it was just surrounded by liters of blood in it. Yeah, man, I, but I can't lie. Big up the surgery team, man. They worked yeah. on it very quickly. Like people wanted to come visit me in that at that moment, I the remember, moment yeah. I w- just went in. Like my sister was telling me there was so many cars downstairs. But what can I say, man? Doctors are saying you can't come in. Of like, this guy is in critical care. Like we need to rush him to the theater right now. But did your family tell you was there ever a point where they thought like this is it? What can I say though, man? You know when people hear a person's in induced coma, people think the worst straight away. Yeah, man. People think that person's about to die. Yeah, it's not on purpose as well. It's yeah. just habits and people. Alhamdulillah, though, man. Alhamdulillah, we're here today, man. This is it's a blessing, bro. Yeah, man. It's a blessing. Oh, like man. a deep topic that one there. Of course it is, man. Of course it is. I'm glad you're here. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Man. And 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 the two weeks. What after the two weeks? How was the recovery period? Bro, I can't lie, man. I was recovering quick, man. Like compared to other people in that type of situation. Like, oh, yeah. Let me tell you this, bro. Health, health is wealth. Of course. Of course. So, bro, you need to stay healthy every day, man. Because you don't know what tomorrow's got planned, isn't it? Yeah. Like only Allah knows, and He's the best of planners. That's true. So, um. Basically now, it's so if you are not healthy and let's just say tomorrow you're in a serious incident, oh yeah, your body might not cope. Yeah, man, like it may ta- it may it may take time for you to heal. What can I say, man? Like the pain might be t- ten times worse. If you were healthy, you would not be going through that. Do you get it? No, you're right, man. I'm going back to the gym after this, bro. <laughs> Serious, <laughs> don't kill me, man. <laughs> you know don't kill me, man. Straight back to the gym after this pod, bro. Yeah, man. Serious, man. So yeah, Motivated me. Bro. 
Oh, alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah. Elvis Wolf, you're here today. Yeah. Um, it's a deep topic. I'm glad we touched on it. Yeah, um, I'm just happy that I'm, I'm alive. Very, man. very glad you're here today to talk yeah, on it man. as well. Obviously, people that are listening, Elvis Wolf. Yeah, as you said, well. uh, look after yourselves, man. Look yeah. after where you're driving, what scooters you're on as well. Bro, sco- them scooters are dangerous, man. You st- have you been on it yet? No, no, no. Never again, bro. Are you sure? Because you used to love them, bro. If I see you on bro. it again, are you never, sure, bro? Never. Well, yeah, I ain't yeah. been on it since the crash. I good to have it. Yeah, don't, man. Never don't. again, bro. No, that's good, bro. <laughs> Nothing with two wheels. I've, I've got to be on four wheels, bro. Oh, I'm two on two feet, bro. That's oh, it. <laughs> that's the safest option. Basically. <laughs> that's the safest option. Basically, bro. Well, I want to I want to switch it up now because obviously what you're doing is amazing anyway. Alhamdulillah. Man. But I want you to back that jacket off, bro. Please, man. Back the jacket off, man. Back it off, bro. Hold on, I got. <laughs> All right. Back the jacket off because that's off. That's what's happening today. Aye. We're gonna talk on that, and that's what's that, that's a movement. Yeah. That's your movement, bro. Yeah. You're proud. It's like you're a proud dad at the moment. Alhamdulillah, I'm proud. Man. I want to. I want to ask you about that, because that's 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 your thing. Chat to me, bro. Man. And I'm glad you got that off the ground. How did that come about, bro? Bro, what can I say, man? Summer 2019, bro. I was in a, I was in a rough patch. Wallahi, like, I was deep in life, like I, I've never deep life before at that moment. So basically, bro. Like, instead of feeling sorry for myself, I was like, you know what? Let me just look forward, man. Like, obviously, Allah is the best of planners. True, true. So I was like, you know what? Let me just look forward and let me just, yeah, never give up, basically, innit? So, yeah, I started the brand. How, how? How did you come with that name? How did you come with the logo? Tell me everything, bro. Bro, I can't lie, yeah. The brand, the logo, everything just describes how I am in life and okay, I just like to go get bro that's good bro yeah man so what did you come up with that yourself basically bro I was like to myself yeah man what am I I'm a go getter so I was like to myself slogan no days off because I was literally working seven days a week and that's that always on year, there as well that yeah. whole year I was working seven days a week okay so like yeah man it was a rough patch, like too much deep things have happened to me, and so um, I was like to myself, you know what? I'm gonna come out with the brand. These times now, um, se- September, September 2019, I found I just got I just went along with it, like you know. Sometimes in life, bro, like you see you see one, you got something in mind, mm. just do it, bro. Yeah, I'm the opposite, man. I'm, I wait for like, I wait. I'm like a perfectionist. Yeah. And I should be doing it. I sh- I've seen a quote, yeah, where it says, um, don't wait for perfection. Yeah. Do it until it's perfect. Okay. So that's probably, you just jumped on it until now it's perfect. Bro, I just jumped on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm the opposite, man. I need, to, I need to be like, I need to be a go yeah, bro. All right. Then. <laughs> More like you, bro. So imagine now, yeah, bro. Mm. Um, 2019, um, I found my logo designer. I found my logo logo designer and I and he created my logo in it. Okay. October, I found my supplier, and my first sample came in. November, my November the tenth. Let's talk about November the tenth. Oh yeah. It was my twentieth birthday. Your birthday. It was my twentieth. November birthday. the tenth. Yeah, November the tenth. November the twelfth, baby. That's me. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come November, on, man. baby. <laughs> Aye. So imagine now, yeah. Uh, November the tenth. It was my birthday. I was like. I was like to my family and friends, instead of shouting me out, like you see how people shout you out for your birthday. More life than that. More life than that. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Don't shout me out, man. Go shout out my brand. It's coming out in 2020. Clever. Good marketing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, 2020 came now, yeah. January 2020, my first ever drop. How'd that feel? How'd that feel? Don't skip it. How'd that oh, feel, bro? Oh, man. How'd that feel? I can't lie, bro, Steve. Like you just gotta get on with it. <laughs> Let yeah, me tell you, that. you just gotta. You don't think about it too much. You don't even think about it too much. Nah, like, I'm, listen, I need to be like you, bro. You know me. Yeah. I'd look at that package for like four weeks, and nah. I just went on with it. Go on. Like, I just went on with it. So these times now, like January 2020, I had um, I had limited amount of ba- baseball caps and I had limited amount of beanie hats. So uh, so yeah, well, like, I can't lie. Yeah, man. It was making progress swiftly. Well, well, how did you get it about then? How did you? Well, I have, yeah, man, literally. Did you have the Instagram page? What, how did nah, you nah, nah. At that time, I had the inf- uh, Instagram page, but I had no website at that time. 
Bro, everything. I'm gonna put your Instagram page right here, man. So you yeah, can man. follow it. Boom, follow it right up, now. Follow it up. Follow it up right now. So imagine now, yeah. Well, like everything was about my two feet. Manic. I just done footwork. Literally, well, I was so tired. No days off. No days off. Yeah, I was just doing footwork, footwork in and around. What the about city. the promo for it then? Did you just go and say, "Yo, I got hats"? Because what they need to know what it is first, isn't it? Well, like, yeah, man. I was like, "Yo, I got hats." Oh, like that, basically. I got caps. Well, lie. Fair play. Just like that. Fair play. So basically, yeah, just hella footwork. Basically, yeah, April twenty twenty one. Let me talk about April twenty twenty one. It was a it was a big month for me. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. So wait, January to April was just. Getting rid of the hats. Yeah, yeah, hats and beans. But it went quick. Yeah, of course. But I just was. never dropped anything till April. I was just planning, planning, planning. Yeah, yeah. So these times, like April 2021, it was like start of lockdown as well. Uh, not 2021, 2020. April 2020, it was the start of lockdown. So was it April 2020 already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <sighs> January 2020 is when it was the first drop. So I never dropped anything until April 2020. That's when lockdown happened. That's when lockdown ha- happened. But January 2020, lockdown, um, COVID-19 was introduced, but the lockdown wasn't introduced. Did you get it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so basically, yeah. So um, April 2020, yeah, my second drop. You see, you see my second drop? I mm. took a big risk, bro. So like, not many brands really go from caps and beanies to jackets. Did you get not, it? Not straight away. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. Like, I'm going to take the big risk. So I took the big risk, bro. And I can't lie, it made instant noise, instant progress. What, what, the jacket? Yeah, the jackets. It, it was the Rain paint, jacket. The paint splatter. No, nah, it was the windbreakers. Windbreakers, bang on, the yeah, yeah, yeah. windbreaker jackets, the paint splatter jacket. Bro, yeah, man. That made so much noise. The brand was getting recognised from different cities now. From, from Brom to different cities now in the UK. From the jacket? From the, from, from the second drop, the jacket. And did you, did, you, did you start marketing it then? Instagram and stuff or still word of mouth? Word of mouth. But then again, at the same time, um, yeah, marketing on Instagram, but a little bit, not too much. Because mm. it's only the second drop. Yeah, yeah. So these times now, after that brosty, it was just about just pushing, pushing, drops, drops, drops. And then, yeah, brosty, like, I can't lie. What drop you on now then? Right now, no, I don't even know what drop it is on, on the top of my head because I've done a lot more. What's drops. your last drop then? My last drop was um, when I came out of hospital, wasn't it? You still dropped after? Yeah. <laughs> it's in the brand. Go get her. I picked that one up still yeah. all day long. I dropped I it literally what? A few weeks after I was out. After I got the what was it? What was it? The shorts. It was the shorts and t-shirts. And t-shirts. Yeah, yes, it's yes. called a G tape. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 So what's what's your what's your plan next then? My plan next right now, bro, Steve fam, is to just keep dropping, keep pushing. At the same time, bro, Steve, like, you know what is, bro, Steve, like, you're not meant to put pressure. You know, you meant to have pr- patience, basically, because. Mm-hmm. From 2020, and now it's 2022, it's all, I've only had the brand for two years. Some people actually compare my brand to brands that have been out there for more than a decade. Yeah, of course. Do you get it? Of course, so of course. Sometimes, like, you're not meant to get it. You're not meant to have... It's not to be perfect straight away. Yeah, yeah, it's not meant to be perfect. Mm-mm. You're not meant to be full on. Do you get it? No, that's not. So, yeah, it's all about patience and, yeah, man. You can't put too much pressure and the results. Yeah. So Failing is also part of it, bro. It's part of it, bro. I'll be perfect if you don't fail. Highs and lows, man. I see, well, like, you know, these quotes are coming to me now. I've seen another one, yeah? Yeah. Where it says, you can't be, like, you can't have the best product if you don't have the creativity to fail first. I read that, bro. Or the freedom to fail, sorry, the freedom to fail. Yeah. You can I've fail. Seen that, I've seen, seen that, that on, somewhere. Yeah, I've seen that one still, I, yeah. I was reading Brooks. Uh, I was, my, one of my boys, mm. furthermore, two of my boys, two of my Proper, uh, like proper boys, like, wallahi, yeah, man. When I was in, when I was on this hospital bed, yeah, wallahi, I was, I was in a bad state, man. So I needed them books. So oh, they brought you books? Yeah, they bought me books. So good. um, good motivational books, books about the dean. It's good, man. Hadith. So yeah, I was reading that every lich, every night, every morning. I'd wake up to it and I would go sleep to it. That's good, man. Are you still yeah. reading now? I'm still reading now, man. Yeah, 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 man. You gotta have so time that. for that, man. I wish I could have more time to read. 
online. Yeah, so um, I've seen that quote that you're on about. Yeah, you seen that one, isn't it? Yes, I've seen that book. I've seen so, what, yeah, book. Have, have your freedom to fail, and then hopefully, inshallah, you'll be. What's, what's your, what's your, what's your, who do you, I know, I know you're going to say, go get her. And I respect that. Yeah. But who's your one to look up to and you think, this is what I want to reach? Trapstar. Trapstar, yeah? Got, I've got a big up Trapstar. Yeah, I grew up on Trapstar. I respect that. I respect this. Even take Risk and Prosper. I grew up on that. There's another one as well from Brom. There's another one that do tracksuits. I'll find it. I'll tell you. It's in my head somewhere. But yeah, trap star. That's that's the goal, basically. That is the goal. I but they, they had a team, though. I'm I'm sure they got a big team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what is, Broski? Um, mm. That's definitely in my plans. I, I want to build a team. Okay. But at the right time, and it's all yeah. about timing, and it, bro. It is, it is, it is. Yeah. It is, man. Well, alhamdulillah, bro. I got one of the hats today. Hi. Make sure you copy it. The website's gonna be down here. Hey, Broski, it looks good on you. That's bro. Thank you, man. Bro, I'll be wearing it. This guy's not saying nothing to me, man. It's not saying, it's not saying nothing, bro. If it looks good, thank you, bro. I appreciate that. The top looks good on you as well, man. What can I say, bro? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Man. So, so what's your, what's your, um, what's your future plans? What's your ambitions for go get her and for yourself, bro? Hundred percent. I like that question. You know, mm-hmm. you know what it is, Broski. I just want to improve in myself, improve on the brand. Continue dropping and dropping. Give the what uh, customers and supporters what they want to see, and yeah, man, I just want to thrive. How, are you, do you do you are you are you, are you um how do you call it? Are you interactive with your customers? Do you speak to them or? Yeah, I do. The funny thing is, mm. I had an email today. Nice. Like one of the um one of the customers and supporters they were asking me to be a mentor for their they want to open up their own clothing brand. Nice. So uh, they were like, yeah, man. You actually inspired us, like, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm glad I inspired you." Like, yeah, now you see a lot of clothing brands as well. Yeah, bro, especially like, in Brom. especially yeah, especially in Brom, it's like I can't lie. Like, I've had so many emails, so many DMs, like the youth of today. They were like, "Bro, you've inspired us so much." Like, we actually like everything about your brand. I can see why they say that. Yeah, I can see why they say that. You know what's funny? Chat not, table, not even funny. I seen, I see. You know when you when you know the person, yeah, and you know they're doing hard work, and you yeah. think, you know what? I hope, I hope he catches his break. I, bro, I'm telling you, I can see a lot of people in Goal Get at the moment. hundred percent outside, outside my house as well. Kids, young kids especially. So, what's your message for the kids that are wearing your clothes and especially trying to do well in life, bro? My message for the kids is just stay patient, stay passionate, like nice. passion. Passion is very important. Of course it is. So you see, when you stay passionate in whatever you choose to do in life, you'll stay focused. Mm-hmm. So yeah, st- stay focused and never give up. Keep dreaming. Never quit. You know what? Do not, do not listen to this quote, kids. Yeah. Right. Tough times never last. True. What tough people do. That's real stuff. Yeah, like. That's real stuff, man. Just make sure you listen to that quote. Nah, they're, they're listening, man. Tell them again <laughs> one more time, man. Make sure you listen to that quote, man. <laughs> yeah, tough bro. times never last. What tough, tough people do. do. Nah, I'm glad you said that, man. Anyone you want to big up at the moment, bro? 100%. This is your opportunity, man. I want to big up every single person that's in my family. Big up my mom, big up my sisters, my brothers, everyone, man. Big my up family. my people. Big up my customers, most most uh, importantly. My customers, my supporters. I'm a people, man. Keep Big up you as well, man. <laughs> Big up Pilden, man. Come on. <laughs> Big up after hours, man. Come on, we're here. Thanks we're for here. Me here, man. Of course, man. Listen, I always, I always uh, gravitate towards people that are doing really well in life, and especially someone that can give back to the community. Yeah, um, the kids that are watching this. You know what is? I me, I, me, I love my community, man. Of course you do. I do it in a positive way, man. I just want everyone to learn. So what can I say, man? Just go and go get. Oh, get man. Bro. I have to end it there. I'm glad you're not here today. I'm glad you tuned into After Hours. Guys, like I said, this is a special person to me, bro. I'm, I love what he's doing. I love what he's doing personally. Um, I think you lot should take a lesson out of his book, bro, and be a go get. I think of you, family, too, man. Mm. I like what you're doing. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that's it. We're going to leave it there. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have more. We're gonna have more of you, man. Hundred percent. Hopefully, I, you come back more when you get the second drop. Just shout when the part two is pending. It's pending, bro. It's already pending. It's loading <laughs> up. 
subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Leave the comment below. I'm gonna leave your I'm gonna leave your name here. I'm gonna leave your website here. Um, this is my it's my editing skills now into question. I'm gonna leave the flipping uh, Instagram there. Um, make sure you tune into the next episode. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking and everything. <laughs> Boom. No, a couple here's probably wanna take me out. Keeping my shalas and I've been praying to the south. You say you got money, little nigga, yeah, I doubt it. Love the way I'm living, got it dripping like a fountain. Ali and his diamonds, yeah, they see me. I've been looking out to villains, I know heroes. I ain't going back to nothing, I had zero. And now I'm walking through them churches, I see clear roads. They've been calling me the lost boy, stuck up on the road. Drinking through them corners, there was times I was alone. I've been in the trenches, I've been sticking to the code. That's my nigga, that's my brother, that's my kitty, that's a show. Little nigga started chasing dreams, trying to make goals. Remember, I was chasing fees on the main road. Lately, I've been ducking from a scout up and in plain clothes. Catch me with the jewelers on the block, like it's central. If you try to pull up to the block, you a rival. My nigga, I'm suicidal. I can take you on the block with my eyes closed. No 50 on the dash, I'm in the front, on the hallway.